you ain't gonna be twisting this thing off like no Bud Light. No, you ain't gonna be doing that. This is a proper German beer. Hey, and welcome back to the beer garden. And if you're here because you like beer, and let's be honest, why else would you be here? I mean, I'm not that good a looking a guy, or maybe I am. Hey, please tap that subscribe button down below uh, because I have low self-esteem and approval from strangers on the internet makes me feel better about myself. Now, seriously, uh, please uh, tell me what town and state or town and country you are viewing from. I love to read where my viewers are from all over the world. As a matter of fact, I made some notes on my sold out of Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review coaster set. Uh, very nice, very sold out. We want to give a shout out to you watching in Joplin, Missouri. Thank you for being there. Nevis, New Mexico. Anchorage, Alaska. Awesome. And Berlin, Germany. Perfect for this time of the season. Uh, of course, it is Oktoberfest season, regardless of the time of the year you're watching this video. And that's why we are reviewing Ayinga. Uh, Oktoberfest. Now, uh, this is not one of the big six. I'll explain what the big six is coming up in just a little bit. But nonetheless, from southern Germany, not far from Munich, is Aying, Germany. And Aingur, Ainga, is the type of beer that they brew there. And I hear that they export this quite a bit to Italy, I think the UK, and the United States. More on that in just a, a second. 94.2% uh, water. They've been brewing this stuff forever in Germany and Ayinga has uh, a lot of other different brews too, not just the Oktoberfest or the Fest beer. Uh, this is a festival lager um, is what they call it because they're not allowed to sell it at, uh, Ayinga is not one of the breweries, not one of the big six that they have in Munich for Oktoberfest. Uh, the big six, uh, Augustina, uh, Hakushor, uh, Hofboy, Leuvenboy, Paulana and Spaten are the, only the big tents that you're gonna see there. And the Wiesen, uh, at Ayinga, uh, a small town just outside of Munich, but outside of the city limits. So they're not allowed to sell their brew there. So, all right, of course, we're gonna be drinking this out of the blue label, a Beer Snob's Cheap Brew Review pint glass, only to be topped off by the official Bavarian Royal Beer Glass Deckle. When I'm, when I'm drinking outside, especially this time of the year when it cools down, bugs are everywhere. You're gonna see when I pop the top on this Ayinga, the flies are gonna go crazy. Deckle. Deckled your beer. It saves it from the bugs getting in it. So there you go. A little tip for you. Let's go ahead and this is a, a proper, I love Ayinga. They they really spend their time, look at the, the painted, well it's not hand painted, but I mean, they make an effort to put the, I love those bottle caps like that. Of course, you ain't gonna be twisting this thing off like no Bud Light. No, you ain't gonna be doing that. This is a proper German beer. You're gonna need a, uh, <clears throat> a bottle opener. So let's go ahead and pop the top, see what we got on this uh, uh, not a cheap Oktoberfest beer or festival beer. Uh, I went deep for you guys on this. You requested it. I spent more money than I usually do. $13.99 for a four pack. I was like, this better just blow my socks right out of my Birkenstocks, if you know what I'm talking about. So ain't cheap, it's, it's, it's expensive stuff, but I love me a good German beer. Let's go ahead and give it a pour while I yap. And uh, Oktoberfest beers are typically some of my favorite beers to drink. I love Oktoberfest season when, you know, the weather is starting to get cool. It's not cool here yet. It's still hot, but um, uh, soon it'll start cooling down. And uh, regardless of the time of the year you're watching this video, I just love the Oktoberfest season time of the year to drink beer. There we go. Ayinga Oktoberfest Märzen, a Märzen style of beer where they, they brew it in the uh, deckle that before the uh, flies attack. Uh, when they brew it in the springtime, uh, used to be in Germany, I'm talking in the 1500s, they weren't allowed to brew beer in the summertime because they considered it a fire hazard. Um, and so they were only allowed to brew during the springtime, can't brew in the summer and then later on in the fall. So they brew a bunch of it in the springtime and uh, so to carry them through until summer. So there you go. Look at the color. Absolutely fantastic what I look for in an Oktoberfest beer that's sort of uh, almost an orange, a natural orange coppery color. Let's go ahead and give it a nose, shall we? A nose. If you told me what town and state, town and country you're watching from, tell me what type of beer you're drinking also while you're watching. This would be awesome. 
All right, for an Oktoberfest beer, in my opinion, what I don't want a balanced beer. I hate those American knockoff Oktoberfest beers that say, a balanced beer. Uh, I don't want a balanced beer. To me, Oktoberfest is heavier, it leans malt, it leans away from the hops, and is a, a more of a, a bready yeastiness. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. And the Iyenga, uh, I'm getting that. I'm not getting as strong a yeasty note as I do get from some of my favorite German Oktoberfest beers. I'm really having to pull more out of it. Um, it's there, the malt's not really strong. Uh, the yeastiness and breadiness is there, but not terribly strong. It's, uh, and neither is the head. Uh, I'm talking, what, what did I say it was? $13, $14 for a four pack? This thing better, this thing better uh, step up, so. And I'm gonna be scoring the Iinga Oktoberfest out of five stars. How good an Oktoberfest beer is it? Is it worth $14 for four of them? Post. Uh, 94.2% water. Let me re deckle for the flies that attack, which they're already attacking. <sighs> hmm. Hold up the bottle, they keep telling me. All right. Uh, Ayinga. Very smooth. Absolutely. Very adult beer. Yeah, this isn't. Like, like most German beers, you're, you're, you're not beer bong in this thing at spring break in Daytona Beach. No, this is a proper, yeah, you can have fun at Oktoberfest and hammer back a few liters of these. But I mean, uh, with the maltiness, it's slightly heavy, not in the mouth feel, but you know, when you get it, you get it in your belly, you kind of, and especially if you're, you know, eating those $14 German Bavarian pretzels that they have and a lot of Wiener schnitzel and some of the roasted chicken here. Uh, so it, it will fill you up quickly, but it also will sneak up on you, let me tell you. But enjoy it. It only comes around once a year, Oktoberfest season. So uh, it's interesting. It's not outstanding. And for $14 for four of them, I want it to be outstanding. <coughs> it's good. It's quality. Uh, I don't know where the lacing went. The lacing, if you're new to beer drinking... It's the, the white foam, and you usually have more of that that sticks to the glass. Uh, a lacing indicates quality ingredients and quality brewing. I don't doubt that Iyengar isn't quality. It tastes like quality. It is nice. And usually for me, I don't know how your body works, but if I'm drinking quality beer and even massive amounts of it, I don't get a hangover. Uh, the last time I was in Germany, uh, we... <clears throat> we made the rounds, let me tell you, and uh, we were enjoying ourselves, and the next morning I popped up awake and felt great. Absolutely, let's let's go hike up a mountain. And so the, the, the better quality, if you invest in it, uh, you'll feel better the next day, even if you over-enjoy. It's good. It's It doesn't knock me out, though. Who would be drinking this? People who enjoy good beer. I think even if, if you, and we all have those friends that go, oh, I don't like beer. Uh, I think that they would enjoy this because it is so well made. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's good. But I've had, uh, there are other Oktoberfest beers that I just fangirl over and go nuts. Uh, check out this channel. Uh, just type in, uh, or check out the uh, Oktoberfest playlist. 4.97 out of five stars. Hey town and state town and country where you're viewing from thank you for watching uh, uh to date almost 1.5 million views for this channel uh i love you for that thank you guys share it we're just having fun here drinking beer and it's a beautiful day here in the beer garden and grab yourself a beer check out some more of my uh, over 220 brew reviews to date here on this channel and uh, thank you for your view sub and support post have a good oktoberfest season regardless of the time you're watching this video i'm posing <laughs>